specific detailed facial orbits conjunctiva leads palpable conjunctiva assessment so here is the recording sheet we divided it into six segments for you we're going to be checking uh, temples at all the orbital and external structures and for exhibit Number two, I'm going to be looking specifically at the degenerations, creating these specific structures, we're looking around these areas, benign malignancy, and under the lids. Very close, and there is some illumination required. We're taking notes as we proceed. So if you look at his eyebrows, remain here, please. Steady. Look. Features. Structures. Brows. Specifically, rouses. So to touch the brows now. Externally, in particular. And this one. Eyelids. So, general look. Look straight ahead. So, there's an autosis, the drooping the lids, obscure the vision. We don't want to obscure the vision with the drooping tarsis, the upper. Let's measure the vertical paper aperture. To measure the VPI measurement there. And the VPI. The other one looks straight. Good. 
equal signs of tarsus signs of bremia right guys it's now we're going to look at specifically the superior and inferior just there so I'm looking quite an familiar Santa Surgical intervention there. No, the last man is minimal, and there shouldn't be any of your age. And just below the inferior part there, I'll send the last man. I believe there's something familiar. Blockets. I don't believe any of that present. Audiolums, glazins, commonly found at the margins of the lids. So I have to have a little palpation the lower tenderness. Start with bulba redness, that's scleral. Look up, don't be very bullish on Look down, that's very bullish to the right. Nice left, temporal. Finding 
specifically the uh, conjunctiva common place for degenerations and kind of got some foreign body sensations and hyperemia looking for clientrigium then we'll move on to retention systems okay look this way Nicely for the most common site of pinguicular formation, a common place. Okay, not commonly found superior inferiorly. So look this way and that way. And again, uh, this way again. Nicely, possibly slight yellowing to be confused with jaundice. Cysts rarely found the lid margins. Now, one common finding of the transparent membrane externally, corneal, is If there is, will be no more than one millimeter. Full three sixty. Have your full three sixty appearance. Corneal scleral junction. Hmm. Very interesting, hard to say. Get to this eye now. Left peripheral cornea, peripheral cornea, externally, civic zones, uh, nicely temporally, superiorly, and inferiorly there, looking for the arcus. Uh, I'd like to cholesterol, there's not much fat in the diet, not too much fat in your diet at all. 
time. And from the top there. Hmm. Very hard to confirm this. Very hard. Right. Nevertheless, the light is very good. Bilaterally, right and left, Latin our U, one millimeter, crouchment, looks like a, a grey appearance there. All right, okay, next up. All right, I'm going to look under the lid side of something called concretions. We need to look at any concretions, like a calcium accumulation. Right, so looking up, might require some electroluminization shortly, but this is the palpebral, palpebral side of the conjunctive, palpebrally, but in conjunction, look at any papillae, we have a mild hay fever allergy. Hmm. Negative concretions and maybe papillae, possibly a grade one. Possibly some grade one, but the lower palpebral conjunctiva. And for the left, look up. Uh, maybe one concretion more nasally, 0.5 millimeters. Very small, not going to cause any foreign body sensations. Cream yellow in color. But again, probably estimate grade one papilla. Palpebral sound there. Excellent. Alright. For the final measurement, I'm going to look at the tear prism height. Tear prism height, non invasively. Alright. So I'm going to attempt to measure tear river. So we need the light for reflections. Lower part. Uh, it's a very small area, very small. Good for the left reflection and good even tear prism there. Reflects well, it's running completely across, flowing towards the upper and lower puncta. It's a nice lacrimal sac. Into a nice cavity. That's everything. Um, only concern was the slight darkness today. Actually, um, everything else absolutely fine. 